My particular interest is how to make cities more healthy and sustainable. And I look at that particular interest in three different ways. I've studied large-scale planned communities, large-scale comprehensively planned new towns and new cities, and look to see how the planners and designers have tried to make them more healthy and sustainable. And I've discovered that there are a few issues that are really hard to plan well. Uh, issues like uh, alternatives to the car, how to make places more walkable, affordable housing, appropriate open space and social diversity. So those are a number of topics that I look at in more detail. I also have two uh, particular areas of expertise that are more uh, detail oriented. One is how to measure uh, environments to see if they are healthy or sustainable. And so I've developed uh, environmental audits where people go out in the field and, and look at places trying to measure aspects that are healthy and sustainable. I've edited some manuals on how to use computer mapping techniques to look at how healthy and sustainable environments are. And in addition, I have a practice and I've been interested in actually helping people make their environments more healthy and sustainable and have created uh, several participatory tools to help people envisage what a better environment would look like. One example that I think really uh, underlies this is the uh, topic of density. So there's a number of different philosophies of how dense environments should be, but in general, environments that have higher densities are more energy efficient, but environments that are lower density can do some neat things in terms of preserving habitat and having uh, water quality uh, treatment on site. So there's this real trade-off in density between high density to, to be more energy efficient, more efficient in terms of the use of resources, and lower density that has uh, these other environmental values. And so I have studied uh, new towns and planned communities that take these different approaches to density. I've also developed a lot of tools to, do, to measure density, so how to measure uh, the density, the perceived density of environment through an, an audit tool that looks at urban design. I have developed a number of different measures of density that you can use computer mapping techniques to analyze employment density, residential density, the density of trees, which is a measure of how we perceive the environment. And then I've also helped develop tools to help uh, the general public understand the trade-offs in density. If you have a high density area, you can get more shops, you can have public transit. Um, but that sometimes uh, leads to an environment that people worry will be lower quality. So I've helped develop uh, some tools that help people visualize that density, understand the costs and benefits, and really realize how they can use high density environments to fulfill their needs.